a weekday morning, a shopping precinct on a local high street, and a couple of shoppers doing what shoppers do, shopping. This is The Shoplift. 20 minutes later, the shoppers exit, having made a purchase. And that's why this lady has just become the mark. She doesn't get far before she and her husband are stopped by a man in a fluorescent jacket. I think I have them here. Is it a Toshiba? Yeah, excuse me, sorry. Did you just buy that from Taylor's? Yeah. They just asked me to stop you. I think there's a problem with the TV. Of course. And here comes a sales assistant to sort out the confusion. Sorry, sorry. We're giving you the wrong one, that's a refurb. Sorry, you could put that down. This has just been... Sounds like there's been a mistake in the shop. They've been given the wrong box. Um, there's a guy coming to pick this up. That's a refurb you from a hotel. No, no, just, he's just going to come and prick it up. But is it your delivery van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay. coming. It's, it's right. the white van that usually comes here. I, I can only I'll, wait for two minutes. Is that okay? I'll uh, come into the shop and I'll give you, I'll give you the, the, the one that you're meant to have. Sorry about that. The security guard is willing to watch the box for a short while. That's going to be picked up. That belongs to someone else. It's a refurb anyway, so we sh you know, you need to have a brand new one. The Mark is happy with the official taking charge of the TV and heads back into the shop with the assistant. We fixed up the box. That's why I had to rush and get you. If you just go upstairs and wait for me by the couch area, I'll be with you in one second. Oh, I've got to give him the invoice. I'll be with you one second. Can't forget the paperwork. The couple head up to the television department of the shop and are soon noticed by the employee that sold them the TV. Back in again. Uh, yeah, we've got a refurb TV. The guys are supposed to wait, so we're waiting for the telly. Yes. So, it's, a, it's a brand new box telly. Just come from, it just came from our warehouse, which is around the corner. We don't know. There's don't, a guy in here with glasses. We don't have anyone with glasses. There's no employee matching that description. There's a guy down here with glasses and he just phoned us and phoned you. Are you one of the guys at work here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, seriously concerned, the Mark heads back downstairs to find the man with the glasses. Unfortunately, he's nowhere to be seen, nor is there brand new flat screen TV. So how did the hustlers convince the Mark to hand over her newly bought goods to complete strangers on the pavement? The hustlers were in position and on the lookout long before the mark arrived. Paul was outside looking for customers entering the electrical store. And Alex was already waiting inside. To the genuine shop staff, he looked like a customer. Uh, no, just having a look around, thank you. But when the mark walked in, he made sure to fiddle with some price labels, establishing himself as someone that worked there. Having observed the direction the couple arrived from, Paul positioned himself in their path, ready to intercept. Uh, excuse me, sorry, did you just buy that from Taylor's? Yeah. They just asked me to stop sorry. you, I think there's a problem with your TV. Sorry, you could put that down. I'm so sorry, that's uh, my fault. I was meant to bring out the other one. And once the mark had been separated from the box... Yeah, purely my fault. Paul loaded it into the waiting hustle van. If you just go upstairs and wait for me by the couch area, I'll be with you in one second. Oh, I've got to give him the invoice. I'll be with you one second. Then Alex hopped aboard, and before the market even realised anything was wrong, they were gone. I was going to wait with the guy, but he wanted both of us to come back. I can't believe we're so stupid, actually. And he walked us back into the shop and said, wait there, the television, we, did, we just thought he worked in the shop and that we'd picked up the wrong television. We assumed he worked in the shop as well because he was in the shop when we bought the TV. And, and now we realise that they've gone with the TV. This scam is so convincing because the mark is faced with two figures of authority, a security guard and a shop employee. The natural reaction is to assume that they're both legit and do as they ask. Never allow yourself to be separated from your possessions, even something that you've just bought. If there's a problem, take it back to the shop yourself and sort things out, even if it's really heavy.